Guys, what's up? Welcome back to another YouTube video. We have got a long-term guest who has been on the channel before back in Durham. Do you remember that yeah, session? Yeah, Back. Um, that would have been oh, four years ago or something like that now. It was when Ultra Durham just opened. And we hit back and from what I can remember anyway, it was pretty high volume. You are quite a high volume trainer. I always, I always like high volume. It's funny, just before you started the video, like I was going to say the last time we did the video, well it was, it was, I think it was just after the opening day in Durham. I think that we did it, so. From Durham to Dubai, from <laughs> Vegas. I seem to see him everywhere, but actually in Durham. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, that's true. But we have shoulders in the cards today. Um, going over what we're going to be doing, Side delts to begin with, two presses you said you normally yeah, do? I usually like two presses. Side delts, bit of a warm up, two presses, uh, which get the compounds in. Yeah. Um, finish with a bit more side delts and then onto rear. So, but again, keep it can be the boss today, I can, I can follow. Keep it basic as always, that's how we do it guys. Me and Brad train very similar. Um, obviously a little bit different in terms of the volume side of things. Maybe I'm maybe a little bit lower volume trainer compared to Brad. Um, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to keep up. I'm going to try anyway, uh, but we'll take you guys through the session, hope you enjoy it, and we'll just get after it. Ten sides, ten fronts, ten sides, ten fronts, ten sides, ten fronts, ten sides, ten fronts, three times, yeah. Yeah man, brand new to me. It's like a thick like arm. Yeah, yeah, really good. Okay. I can deal with 15s. There's loads of 15s oh, in here. There's thousands of 15s? Yeah, there's more 15s and 20s. There's one thing I can't deal with, there's 25s so. though. Is there any 25s in here? Uh, no. Not, uh, yes, yes, there's a few. There's, there's a few. Yeah, there's loads of 25s. So how come there's a million 15s? I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I think it's the Arabic way of piling on loads of 15s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 To Looking fair, like you're Ronnie Coleman. To be fair, that is usually what you see. <laughs> Overhead pressing, fucking loads of 15s per side. That's gonna get like that's gonna take some getting used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt as if one side was like. It's good for your pressing though, because it yeah. makes sure that you're pressing. Hundred percent. I unwrapped it, expecting it just to be like a Smith, yeah. and then I'm like, okay, first it's at an angle, and then it was like shit. Yeah. I'll get Sh after a couple of sets. It's good for chest. It's a bit, it's a bit iffy with shoulders. Is I think it's one of the best shoulder presses I've been on. It's like a fixed in dumbbell, isn't yeah. it? What's your rep ranges and sets like and stuff like this? Usually pressing are like 10 reps. Yep. 10 reps, 4 or 5 sets. Yep. That row raises is usually about 15 reps. Yeah. 4 or 5 sets. So, so, like so is that just like pyramid up the way? So yeah, like yeah, well, like or say 10 reps, 10 reps, yeah, 10 yeah. reps, 10 reps. Is that kind of similar to what you do? Um, similar. I, I used to I used to train a lot like that until I moved to like your top and back off. Okay, okay. okay. Um, and I think I've just became so stuck in doing top and back off that if I went away from doing them, I've always found myself back at them. Um, I'll do a lot of top and back off work on bigger movements. Yeah. On everything else, I'll do like a good three, four sets and just pyramid up the way. Tops and back off's good, but obviously like ah. I used to love it, and I still have a lot of people do it. Yeah, yeah. But like for me, I was always running into injuries, and yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, I channel too much aggression yeah. into a top set. I end up injuring myself. Yeah. Like, I can literally send myself fucking crazy. Um, where here, the pyramid, I can kind of control the aggression a bit as it goes yeah. up. And by the time you get to that last set of yeah. ten reps, you're probably the most safest and supported that you've, you've ever been. Yep, easy. Good. 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 
three, four, five. Yep. Eight. Yep. Eight. Yep. Eight. Yep. Nice. Yep. Two. Three. Come on. Four. Five. Come on. Six. Let's go. Seven. Let's go. Eight. Come on. Nine. Come on. Ten. Let's go. There's four, oh, there's five, ah, six, come on, hey. seven, come on, hey. eight, hey. nine, hey. and yep. Good, come on, good, good, easy, easy, oh, I got you, I got you, press, press, hold you. Ooh. Press, 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 press. Good job. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a close your eyes, oh, turn your hands, and hope you've got it like on. just fucking. <laughs> oh man. To be fair, the more sets I get in, the more I get used to it being yeah, yeah. Um, like kind of unilateral. But. It gradually started getting heavy, but the set before that one there, I was like, do you know something, that maybe a little bit more heavy? Yeah. Got to like five reps there, and I was like, shit, just try and move it. You want to move? Yeah, man. Yeah. What are you thinking now? Like, uh, uh, usually I like to do the gym level one. Yeah. You'll literally stack it, but then what we can do is I like to do sevens on it, so I do 21 reps at the yeah, end yeah. and just burn out your... Let's do it. Not just uh, here, here, or like the trying here. Like the touch in the middle. Yeah. It's light, so usually I do like, we're stuck now, probably stuck again. Yeah. And then just do like a big kind of intensifier set. Yeah. I wish it was heavy. If it was yeah. heavy, it would just get even better all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how it is though? Like, doing the stack over and over, getting better at the stack and then adding intensifiers, then it's going to be enough. See, like, that, like, that's a big part of my training though. Like, if you can get strong enough, yeah. And then what I used to like to call it is like marinate in those yeah. strong weights. Then just make the, that same weight feel harder and harder and harder. Yeah. How do you do it? Drop sets, rest pause, you know, all these type of things that you can do with yeah. the same weight yeah. but make it even harder. Yeah. Therefore your risk of injury is less yeah. and your performance keeps getting better. Driving up three, yeah, 100%. 100%. Nine, 10, keep going. One, two, three, four. Four and five. Is it up? Feels good. Nine, good. Here we go, last five. One, two, three, come on. Four, come on. Five, five. Oh. Look at, look at the upper shelf on this line. Look what he's been building. That's what I had the main focus on this all season. Yeah, building just your chest looks way better. Just trying to make my chin disappear into my chest press every single time. Or pec deck. Like on, a, on any sort of fly. Just trying to make this the biggest and this disappear. It's done its, done its job, but I know it's done a wee bit more. Um, Did you find that... Uh, the upper chest was the hardest for you to develop? Yeah, I, I do anything in my power and have no fullness throughout it. You'd, you'd see a slight little bit of muscle, but I would go to flex and there would be flat. Everything would be here. Because everyone just develops a pec that kind of comes yeah. like this way. They yeah. don't develop, I would say like a well-rounded pec starts on the inside out. Oh, 100%. Okay. So I had, I had next to no fullness, especially like almost up here. There was just nothing. Whenever I hit like a front lap spray, the front of a bicep, just a spear. So this time let's do like a 21. Yep. So let's do seven on the bottom. Yeah. Seven from mid to seven on the bottom, seven from mid to top, seven full. Okay. So 21 total. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, half one. Yep. Okay. Two, three, four, 
five, seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, one, two, three, four, five, up, six, seven. Him deny the stuff. Uh, Keep it recorded. Mm. I'll do the stack for like five minutes. Let's see what we got. Mm. I'll go in, you know I'll fucking go in the stack. <laughs> you know he's gonna ask me to do legs next and he'll just tear <laughs> me apart. I'll end up in the hospital with another <laughs> surgery. <laughs> he's like, that's what you get. <laughs> Come on in. Good. Two. Yep. Three. Yep. Four. Yep. Uh, Come on. Uh, Come on. Uh, yeah. Yep. Five more. Good. 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 Four more. Oh. Easy work. Good. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop it. One, let's go. Two, three, come on. Four, come on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Ten. Okay, one more. That 
your usual kind of setup for shoulders? Yeah, that's usually my usual setup. Four, how many exercises do you do? Five exercises? Yeah. Um, usually four or five exercises on everything I do. Yeah. Kind of keep it moving, keep it intense. Yeah. The yeah, goal yeah. is to be strong, the goal is to yeah. have volume. Yeah. Um, yeah. Depending on the body part, I change it up. Legs and back would be a bit different because it's. I think you need a bit more rest yeah. when you go heavy. Um, mainly for delts, arms, yeah. hamstrings, things like that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do you ever, you ever do like top and back offsets on anything or like? For, for me personally, now no, because I just need to be careful of risk of injury. Okay. Top set back off for me now is is good, but my goal isn't necessarily to keep getting stronger than what I'm at. Yes. My goal is to kind of marinate in the strength that I've got and like sculpt the physique around that. Yeah. Um, my goal at the minute isn't more size, yeah. downsized a yeah. lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the kind of, see, 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 have to play with my training and yeah. what I can do. Yeah. Me personally, if I was, when I do training plans for other people, top step back up can, can be a big thing that I do. A lot of people do this. But uh, for me, it's more the volume approach that works best. So I think that's one thing that, that does really mean is just there's a lot of different ways to train. A lot of people, I think, get tied up in the part of just being able to do top and back offs, and that's the only way to progress your physique or the only way to lose body fat, the only way to gain muscle. But, for example, a higher volume approach, pyramid sets up the way with more intensifiers in there um, is another very effective We always way. speak about this. Like, I remember when we met three years ago, four years ago, whatever it might have been, like, we spoke about this straight away when we met each other. It's, you know, people are scared to do higher volume now. Everybody, I feel like everybody's like cheap. They all follow what one yeah. guy was really successful at. Yeah. That, like one guy was successful at it. Doesn't mean everyone needs to do that. There's different approaches. It's about finding what works best for you. Yeah. Um, and obviously that's something you've done massively is you're not a sheep. You don't follow. You yeah. found. Yeah. You even says you do a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of it. Like you're strong. You do your volume. Yeah. That's. I think that's what it's about. All just comes down to what you can put out on the day. It's yeah. effort, isn't it? Yeah. It's effort. When you're able to train hard. You're able to put effort in. Then fucking any split, any training approach works. But that's going to be it for shoulders. Hope you were able to take something from it. Hope you're able to enjoy it. I tried my best to keep up. I think I got absolutely smashed on the side lateral machine. But I'm he's gonna never going to live that one I'm, down. I'm, no chance. I'm going to just, I'm going to just focus on that, and then we're going to train delts again. And I'm going to be putting a fucking jump in it, and I'm going to put an extra plate on it. But yeah guys, um, for this one we're finished, we'll just catch up with you all in the next video.